problem, chapter, uh, chapter four, section five, problem number six, and uh, section five is about L'Hopital's rule. And before we start, just remember what L'Hopital's rule says. L'Hopital's rule says that if you have a limit, as x goes to b, uh, x goes to whatever, b of f of x over g of x, and that results in some kind of indeterminate form, like 0 over 0, or infinity over infinity, or, um, what, or, or infinity plus minus infinity, that we can, that we can use L'Hopital's rule and say that this, the limit of such a function of indeterminate form will also equal, that will equal the limit of the derivative of the function. Okay, so we, um, it's very important to note that L'Hopital's rule will not hold true, not true, if the limit exists. So if it's not of this form, then um, we cannot apply L'Hopital's rule. And actually, if you get this form, you can use, apply L'Hopital's rule, but you have to get it in the form like this. So L'Hopital's rule is still applicable, but you cannot, like, you have to put it in a form where it's uh, a quotient. Not a product, but it has to be a quotient. Okay, we can start. So let's see. We're supposed to find the limit as x to the a raised to the a minus one over x to the b raised um, x to the b minus one. And as it's going to one, let's plug in one into the function and see what we get. Um, it's going to approach one raised to the a. Oops. Hmm. 1 raised to the a power minus 1 over 1 to the b power minus 1. 1 to any power is going to be 1. We have 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1. And that's going to be equal to 0 over 0. And um, that is of the form that we can use L'Hopital's rule. Note that if we try to use the polynomial trick and divide through by 1 over x of b, we'll still end up because that's what I tried first. Before I tried L'Hopital's rule, I, I tried the, to divide everything through, multiply the top and bottom by 1x to the b over 1x to the b, like a, a regular polynomial, and see if, it, if we get a finite derivative. But what you get is 1 to the a minus b minus 1 all over uh, 1 minus 1 over x to the b, and we still end up with something of form 0 to 0. So that didn't help me, and that's when I determined that. Um, we can use L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so now that limit is going to equal the limit of the derivative of each of them. So as x approaches 1, we'll take the derivative of the top, d dx, of x raised to the a minus 1 over d dx, x to the b minus 1. Oops. Oh, Minus one. Okay, so let's take the derivative. I don't have room. In math, good form is to go down, but obviously my whiteboard space is limited, so I am going to do use poor form and go to the side like that. And that's very poor form, but resource restrictions. So that is going to equal the limit as x approaches 1. Derivative of x to the a will be a x to the a minus 1. Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative at the bottom is going to be b x raised to the b minus 1 power minus, oops, and then derivative of 1 is 0. We can simplify that using limit laws and pull that out. Limit laws allow us to say that x, as x approaches to 1, we pull the coefficient out, a, okay? Then this is going to approach x to the a minus 1 over x to the b minus 1. And that will equal a, b, limit x 
goes to 1, x over x. Simplify this. x, exponent of the top minus the exponent of the bottom. That simplifies to a over b times the limit as x goes to 1. A, we have a minus b, 1 minus the negative 1, so 1 plus 1, negative 1 plus 1, which is 0, so we're left with this a minus b. So x to the a minus b. So now we can see that as x goes to 1, this goes to 1 raised to the a minus b power. And 1 raised to any power will be 1. So the limit of this, x to the a minus b, is 1. Therefore, we have 1 times a to the b, and the limit approaches a to the b power. All right, that's the answer to problem 4.6.